Ancient Design Futures is a living archive, exploring traditional and everyday practices and showing how these are inspiring contemporary designers. As a curator, I'm preoccupied by the urgent need to rethink how we use materials and resources. So many of our modern practices no longer make sense in the context of the environmental crisis. This is a series about exploring how the past can inform the future, about how we can translate good ideas from history into sustainable solutions, and how traditional and vernacular ideas can be the basis for innovation. Terracotta is a good example. It literally means baked earth, and it's low cost and available pretty much anywhere there is soil. Terracotta is the most ancient art of not only India, but of the whole world. It is being not only used for the household purposes, it is a traditional item, it is a ritualistic item, it is also used in most of the temples in the earlier days. Today, designers are beginning to look at this everyday material again and invent new applications. We as ants love the intersection of art, nature and technology. What we are trying to do is to bring technological advancements in computational design, material science. We are collaborating with engineers, artists and porters to enrich our solution. We see an opportunity where we can positively impact the livelihood and the lifestyle of millions of people in the future. Almost all the objects that we use with plastic end up in either landfills or oceans after the life cycle. Terracotta disintegrates and beautifully merges with Earth back again. We were designing the cafeteria at Deki. While we were working in their premises, we noticed that the workers were suffering from the hot air that was being thrown by the DG set. Beehive was designed as an art installation that can solve the heat issue. Terracotta was an obvious choice. Easily available, long-lasting with high heat resistance. Traditionally, earthen pots are used to cool water. When we looked at the ancient times, Egyptian slaves were fanned the pots filled with water to blow cool air onto the pharaohs. Similarly, in our own country, all the havelis and forts are popular for channelizing air through stone jalis and jarokas. Hollow terracotta cones were stacked in a circular form like a beehive. The pots were soaked by pouring water over them. The geometry and the shape of the cones help accentuating the evaporative cooling, decreasing the surrounding temperature. People are starting to understand the importance of sustainable lifestyle and what terracotta as a material can bring to innovation. Across India, there's an amazing ancient terracotta heritage and craft industry, but it's gradually disappearing. As we explore a more sustainable water culture and look for alternatives to plastics, perhaps terracotta could have its day again.